Hi and welcome to day 13 of our Fab Ab Challenge. Another day, another workout. We're halfway through the week now and we're over halfway through this whole challenge. So massive well done to you. Um, yesterday was a very tough workout. Well, they all are, but this was a definitely a different kind of uh, strength test uh, where we had to do a lot of planks. Um, so I'm hoping that you're definitely feeling it today. You should be. Um, what am I doing today? We're doing a quick pace, two phases workout. We're doing uh, up against the clock and then we're going to be finishing off in reps and strength. So let's have a little warm up, shall we? We're going to do our five things. We're going to engage our anchors, our glutes, our core, our chest and shoulders. And then we're going to start to pulse those shoulder blades back. I hope that you guys are feeling determined as ever to see this week through because after this there's only one week left well and tomorrow's <laughs> but you know it's nine ten you're going to engage and we're going to take it over to one side nice we're going to change it and take it over woo, to the other side give it some little pulses from here we're going to open up some w's Good, seven, nine, ten. We're going to link those hands back together, head before arms, really arrange the anchors, and it's bum out, bum squeeze in. Nice. The whole focus here is on my bum and keeping the weight in my heels. Nine. Perfect. From here, we're going to sink ourselves into some evenly distributed squats. So we're going to give ourselves some good anchors. Center of gravity goes down into those anchor points. My bum is bouncing for 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Into full squats. We're going to be doing 10 of those for the warm up. Even weight distribution, good bum press into core we don't rush the warm-up because it's a prep so the body knows that it's about to be used and it knows how to engage it perfect love it well done we're quickly going to roll ourselves down to the floor so we can get our pressings in we're going to engage the anchors that are now in the palms we're going to press and screw them in we're going to squeeze our bum to stabilize the knees and then I want you to press all the way into the floor. I want you to tuck your tailbone all the way in. And then I want you to stick your bum all the way out and give it a good squeeze. We're only doing five of these, but they are slow and meaningful to wake up your whole back, your chest, your arms, your bum. Perfect. And your hips. Nine. There's five. Love it. Then from there you're just going to anchor step one, two steps forwards with the hands. I want you to press yourself down into a child's pose. And then I want you to press your bum into those engaged anchors. So your anchors are always anchored. Your anchors push your bum back. Your bum pushes into those anchors. Nice. Seven. Ooh, that was a bad one for me. Nine. Ten. Perfect. From here, you're going to meet me up, up, and up. Okay, phase one is timered. We'll be doing four exercises. There's 30 seconds on each exercise and there's absolutely no rest in between. We will be doing three rounds of it in total. It's only six minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, six minutes. And then after that, we're going to have a little moment. I'll turn that timer off and we're going to be finishing uh, phase two in reps. So let me quickly explain to you the exercises that we're going to do for phase one. I'm going to stick my timer on and then we're going to get sweaty. Okay, cool. So our number one is actually going to be a squat pulse and squeeze. 
So what I want you to do here is give me an amazing five things, five sets to perfect form. You should, you should know what they are by now. If you don't, give me a shout or leave a comment underneath and I'll uh, point you in the direction of the video that's going to explain everything. Five things. In two. Pulsing squat. So you will pulse, pulse, in. Pulse, pulse, in. All good. You should feel this in your anchors as you sit your centre of gravity down. This is your bum, bum, and then bum squeezes into core. That's going to be number one. Number two, we're going to be doing standing diagonal crunches. So you're going to have el elbow is core, knee is core. You're going to crunch it together. Crunch it together. Crunch it. Crunch it. All good. Um, if you struggle with balance there, feel free to hold on to your wall. One, two, and then change to what I'm holding on to the wall, obviously. So that's going to be number two. Number three, we are moving down onto the floor to do mountain climbers. So what I want you to do here is give me some great anchors through the palms and you are going to crunch your knees into your chest. If you want to do the obliques, you definitely can. You can do a mix of both there or you can choose to hold on to one. We're on 30 seconds, so uh, you can go as long as the time does. Then from there, we're gonna have a little lay down and we're going to be finishing on my one, two, three crunch. So you're going to extend the hands. We're going to engage the glutes and core. You'll crunch one, crunch into two knees, crunch into the last knee. That's one rep. One crunch, two crunch, three crunch, move. All good? Perfect. Okay, so those are the exercises that we're going to be running ourselves through. We've got three rounds to get through. 30 seconds on each move, no rest in between. But if you do need a rest, wait until the end of the round and then stick the pause on and have a little rest there. Anywhere up to a minute, but don't spend too long. Just get in there and get it done. So bear with while well, I put my timer on. I'll be right back. Prepare. Okay, prepare. Number one is our pulsing squat. So we're going to engage our five things. Good anchors. Pump, pump, in. Bum pulse, bum pulse, squeeze. One, two, three. One, two, nice. Fifteen seconds. One, two. Pay attention to putting your weight into those anchors. Three, two, one. No rest. We're moving into standing ab crunches. Two, two. Make the effort to meet the knee. Do not just go through motions here. I want you to feel that crunch, crunch, crunch. Nice. Three, two, one. Perfect, you're going down onto the floor and you're going into climbers. We're going to do some great anchors. The secret to mountain climbers is having a great pair of anchors. Once you are focused on your stabilizers, you can then use your core to crunch your legs up. Five seconds. One. No rest. We're going straight down onto the floor. So give me the one, two, three crunch. One, two, three. Get that bum on. One, two, three, two, three. This is round one. We've got two rounds to get through. Three, two, no rest, straight back up, engage, one, two, in, one, two, in, anchor, anchor, bum squeeze, one, two, 
squeeze. 10 seconds. In. One, two. In two. One, two. Squeeze. One, two, three, two, one. No rest. One, two. Notice how I breathe out. I push my breath into every crunch because when you do that, you get more crunch, more engagement, more control. 10 seconds. Keep it coming. Five. Yes. Three, two, one. Straight down onto the floor. Climbers. Two. Keeping the bum low, keeping the core on, focus is on those lower core crunching in and you're being stabilised through your anchors. 10 seconds here, go, go. Push it. Three, two, one. Nice, straight round onto the floor. One, two, three, crunch. Engage before you go. Bum on, core on. Two, three, one, three. Go, go. Two, three, one, two, three, two, one. Woo, last one. Last round with no rest. Engage, one, two, squeeze, anchor, anchor, bum squeeze, pump it, pump it, into core, one, two, ten seconds, one, two, squeeze in, feel your core as your bum presses into it, we're doing great, three, two, one, no rest, crunch, two, Crunch, crunch, 20 seconds left, not doing this again, don't go through motions here, feel the crunch, crunch, 7 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, no rest, we go straight down onto the floor, Going in for those mountain climbers. You want some great anchors to stabilise your weight evenly across them. 15 seconds. Let's go. One, two, two. Push, push. Seconds left. Three, two, one. Nice. Last one this round, do it, one, two, three, crunch, two, three, one, two, three, almost there, three, two, one, have a little rest, well done, well done. Woo. Phase one is finished. Congratulations. Nice sweat sesh out of the way. Get yourself a little drink if you need it. Woo. We're about to finish phase two in reps. Okay, cool. So what we're going to be doing for our rep based is three exercises that we're going to do 10 reps of each. So our number one exercise is going to be a one arm press up. I'm just gonna, uh, not, a, not a press up, I'm not gonna make you do press ups, don't worry. I'm gonna make you do sit ups. So what I want you to do here is have one arm that's gonna be extended. We're gonna reach it up to the sky. With this free arm, if you need the help and support, you're gonna pop it down onto the floor and then you're going to instruct your core to drive and sit you up, keeping that hand straight the whole time. You're going to massively bum squeeze as you come down. So if you need the support, you can have a hand here 
it's just going to help you drive your chest up to the sky. If you've got a stronger core, you're going to keep one arm up, you punch it to the sky, and bum squeeze back down. We're going to be doing five on one side, and then we're going to change arms, and we're going to do five on the other so that we get ten in total. That's going to be number one. Then for number two, we're going to be moving into uh, one, one, two, two. You're going to do ten on this side and ten on this side. And then we've got one move left. We're going to be doing ten um, scissor kicks. So I'm going here. I'm just going to shuffle back, roll up my mat for you. Okay. What I've got is my shoulders on the floor. I'm going to point my toes and I'm going to cross them. One, two. There's two crosses to one rep here. We're going to be doing ten of them. All good? Okay, cool. So when you're ready, you're going to come and join me on the floor. And we're going to smash that one out now. We're doing one arm press ups times five. Engage. Punch the sky. Engage glutes, engage core, drive the chest up, keep the arm up, and then as you come down, it's back to the sky. Punch it to the sky. Massive bum squeeze as you come down to the floor. Rah, three, you're going to drive that chest up so you get that final sit up in. Four, one more, one more. massive squeeze on the way down we're going to change hands we're going to engage the glutes and core we're going to chest to the sky back down to the floor chest to the sky massive bum squeeze to the floor three this is a tough one four if you need the hand support do it five massive bum squeeze down to the floor perfect from here we're moving into our diagonal crunch so you're going to into one knee up to the toe into the knee up to the toe two three four five Six, almost there. Seven. Eight. Wow, oh, I feel that. I'll burn. Nine. Woo. Ten. Change it over. Do it again. Elbow is upper core. Lower core is knee. If you need the support, put the hand down. five six almost there feel that burn seven go go nine Woo. ten nice perfect from here hands are going under the bum we're going to make sure the shoulders are on the floor you're going to point your toes and squeeze your bum lift the legs one crunch two Two, three, three, four, five, six, six, seven, nine, ten, done. Have a little rest. Woo! Well done. That's one round gone. If you need a moment, you're going to take it. If you don't need a moment, you're going to set up that punching abs. So we're going to put one punch to the sky. We're going to engage the glutes and core. Your hand can help you get the chest up. Massive bum squeeze. One. Yes, core. Two. We're only getting five here. Three. Nice. In two. Four, doing great. Five, 
we're going to change it over, we're going to do it again, engage, one, nine, two, focus is on getting that chest up, into the sky, three, yes, four, one more, one more, five, tough one, tough one, Moving into 10, one, two, three, uh, yeah, one, two, three crunch. Are you ready? Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, two, two, three, three. Nice, control it. Don't just go through motions as much as it hurts. Almost there now. Seven, seven. Good, you're doing great. Finish those reps. Nine. Nine. Woo. Ten. Ten. Right. Ten. Out. We're doing good. We've still got one move left here. This is round two. There's only one round left after this. You're going to engage, get the chest out, get the bum on. Point the toes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. Well done, you. Well done, well done, well done. I know that you have hurt because mine are literally burning. Have a moment. When you are ready, we need to do this one more time. We're going to engage. One punch. Engage abs. And two. One, massive bum squeeze down. Use your elbow and your hand if you need to. Two, this is a very tough move. Three, chest to the sky. Four, you're not doing this again, this is it. Five, massive bum squeeze down. Five left, engage. One, nice, engage, two, yes, yes, engage, to the chest, three, this is a tough movement, you're doing amazing, four, one more, one more, five, ten in total, okay, we're moving on, second to last one of the day, we're going to engage the abs and the glutes and we're going to one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good crunches, keep it coming. Four, four, four. Nice ab burn, keep it coming. You won't be sorry. Five, yes, into six, seven, good, good, keep it coming, eight, eight, two rows left, nine, nine, one row left, ten, 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 Nice ab burn, you're doing amazing. There's just one move left here and you've done it. You're going to engage, point the toes, squeeze the bum, lift. One, two, three, four. Doing great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Woo! 
Ooh, well done, well done. Another great ab workout done and dusted. That is day 13. That means there's only two workouts left for this week and uh, one more week left after that. So well done, well done for being invested, well done for being committed and well done for being determined to see this through. No matter how much those abs are giving you that feedback, you're doing great. Keep it up and I will see you tomorrow.